the nature of stress is the part that I want you to look at and to see where you are on this curve. You can see at the point where you've got the rust out. The rust out is where it's the boredom factor. You know, when you haven't got enough to do is equally as stressful as when you go over the curve and you've got too much to do. Because when you've got too much to do and you actually get to the point of tiredness, the tiredness gets to the point of exhaustion and the exhaustion gets to the point of burnout. Once you get to burnout, you don't come back. It doesn't mean you die, but it does mean your body has burnt out. It means it hasn't been able to recharge its batteries. That's what happens to your body. But think of the warning signs, because the warning signs are there. How long do you think you can stay at optimum performance for? Short or a long period of time? Short or long? Short. Short. We'd love it to be long. Wouldn't it be great if we could stay at optimum performance? Long. But actually, we can't. So we have to recognize the warning signs. And we vacillate over the curve from left to right all of the time. All of the time. So bring it to the third stage of this three-dimensional approach, which is the action stage. The action is, what are we going to do about it? We know stress, we know pressure, we understand the difference between the two. There are the warning signs which we may or may not ignore. And now we come into the action stage. What tangible things can you take away in your hand and do something with it? Our work-life balance. As speakers, almost certainly if you're working for yourselves, as entrepreneurs, the chances are you're going to be working 24-7. The chances are you're your own PA. The chances are you are your own secretary. The chances are you are everything. So where is your work-life balance? 